Hey, Psych2Go fam. Just want to remind you, we're here for you during this difficult time of COVID-19 and always. Stay safe and let's fight this together. For everyone around the world, these past few days have been tough. These strict restrictions requiring you to stay inside your home and zero interaction with the outside world can take a toll on your mental health. Mindless scrolling through social media fueled by the need to keep up with current news can give rise to an anxious state of mind. So, to help you through the coronavirus pandemic, here are 10 quotes to keep you going. 1. You may not be able to control every situation and its outcome, but you can control your attitude and how you deal with it. It's not always necessary to have control of a situation in order to feel in control. It's important to remember that even though we can't change our current situations, what we can change is our attitude towards it. Instead of thinking of this as a way of being forced to stay in our homes, we can see it as a much-required breather from our everyday busy lives. 2. Take time to make yourself happy. Engaging in activities that make you happy makes you feel less overwhelmed or stressed. Your mood improves over time, and it also provides a much-needed distraction from the things going on around you. So take out your old art supplies, or do some other things that are crafty. Cook new recipes, or just dance around your living room. It's the time to dust off those hobbies you never got the time for. Do whatever makes you happy. 3. Be strong now, because things will get better. It might look stormy right now, but it can't rain forever. It might look like things are getting worse or not changing at all. But the truth is, it won't always be stormy. Have patience, because this will soon pass. We have been through many adversities like this, and we've made it out of it, and we'll make it out of this too. Four, we're all in this together. It might look like you're alone during these tough times, and so it's important to look around you and see that we're all in this together. Everyone is going through this tough time together and helping each other in some way or another whether it's through singing on balconies in Italy, volunteering to help each other get essential groceries, or even through engaging in social media challenges. Five, don't keep your feelings to yourself. Talk to someone about it and let it out. It will feel way better. Be strong. Do you feel overwhelmed or anxious during these times? If so, you're not alone. These feelings are only human and keeping them to yourself only adds to unwanted stress and fear. Talk about your feelings with someone you trust. Sit down and discuss these with your family. Or if you live alone, then call or video call anyone you're comfortable with talking about these emotions with. Talk to your pets if you can't talk to anyone. Or go to online portals to write out your feelings. The important thing is to let these feelings out, not letting them bottle up inside you. Six, start each day with a grateful heart. Living in this lockdown, it might feel like you're missing out on so many things, Or maybe some opportunities you were looking forward to for a long time have slipped away from our hands. So, it's important to count down your blessings and to feel grateful for things you do have right now. To wake up every day with gratitude helps you ground yourself with the present, feel hopeful, and cope with these hard times. 7. Just breathe and focus on yourself. Take this time to focus on yourself. Do the things that you wanted to do for so long but couldn't find the time for. Read books to gain knowledge or just for fun, like reading the whole Harry Potter series or Percy Jackson or Hunger Games. Have movie marathon nights with your family. Yoga or aerobics or exercises that don't require any equipment are among the few options that you can choose if your goal is to get in shape. Take up a new hobby or learn a new skill. Just take full advantage of this time. Eight. It's all about finding calm in the chaos. The world might look like it's on fire, and so you need to do your part in maintaining your peace and sanity during these troublesome times. By keeping your mind calm, you're able to handle the situations more efficiently and find solutions for your problems instead of creating more problems. During tough times, it's important to make the best of the situation. Nine, spend time with your loved ones. Take time to bond and connect with each other. Not requiring to go to the office or on business trips means getting more time to be with your family. So spend time with your loved ones. Arrange game nights at home, movie marathon nights, play music or sing together, maybe cook together, and talk to each other at the dining room table or while sitting in the living room. Make up for the time you couldn't be there with your family. 
and cherish it. And 10, sometimes the change of perspective is all it takes to see the light. It might feel like the end of the world, but it's just a new beginning. If we shift our perspective, we can look at how this coronavirus pandemic has changed our view about so many things we've taken for granted. It's made us appreciate the simple and little things, like a hug or high-fiving our friends. Instead of dividing us, it's only brought us together. There's so much positive news because of the necessary lockdown, like the clearings of canals in Venice, air pollution levels decreasing in China, and stories of the kindness of people from all over the world. Did you find these quotes helpful or inspiring? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to share this video with people who could benefit from it as well and spread the positivity. During these times, remember to take care of yourself, your family, friends, and neighbors. This is the time where we can work together as a unit and help those who are more vulnerable. Remember, you can step away from the news if it makes you feel out of control or overwhelmed. Focus on the positive side and engage in anything that makes you happy and calm. Happy quarantining, everyone. Stay safe.